Hello, my name is Janko and today I'll be showing you a demo of a simple ServiceNow to Splunk integration and more specifically creating incidents in ServiceNow and transforming them to events in Splunk by using the innovative integration capabilities of the ZGOps platform. Before our main demo today, I would like to present you with a brief ZGOps UI overview and how we're going to connect the systems that we would like to integrate and configure. Afterwards, I'll proceed with the main configuration, so let's start! So, the first thing that we see after we sign in the ZGOps platform is the ZGOps dashboard. Here, we'll be provided with additional information about our accounts, licenses and integrations. For an example, the current number of active licenses, the date of their expiration, the current number of active integrations, the current number of connected systems, also the self-held status of both the integration and the connections that we had made. Also, we're being presented with additional statistics and matrix data that we could check for a certain time frame of our choice. So, the first thing that we would need to do is visit the connected system section right here. In order for us to connect the systems that we would like to use for our integration. So, after we click on add a new system, right there, we'll be provided with all the systems that are currently available for integration with ZGOPS. After we select one of our preferred systems, let's say Splunk we can see that we're being provided with a template with all the requirements that the system would need in order for it to connect with ZGOPS. After we click on save and test our connection with Splunk, once the connection is successful, ZGOPS will collect some metadata from both systems, which will include all the available entities, variables, and tables the integration users can see. They'll be collected and will be used for the configuration later on. Afterwards, the next step for us is to visit the configurator section in the UI for us to choose the integration template which would meet our integration needs. After we click on add a new integration, we can choose one of our predefined templates which are based on the most common integration scenarios between the two selected systems. Also, have in mind that you would be able to import and create your own custom templates. This way, you would be able to define your integration requirements from the ground up, thus meeting your integration needs more precisely. After selecting our preferred template, we can go ahead and visit the main configuration page. It will include predefined actions, conditions and field mappings that can be used right, right away without any additional configuration. We would be also able to make changes for us to meet more of our integration needs more precisely of course. So in overall it includes our systems, the data type that we're going to sync and the correlation logic of the integration. In our current case between these two systems I would not need any correlation logic setup. So here we'll see system 1 as the source system and system 2 as the destination system after we click on save. The connection between the two systems will be established, so ZGOPS will be looking for new data in ServiceNow and will create data in Splunk. In the advanced configuration section below, we can define what is the type of data that we would like to synchronize between the selected systems. In our current case, I chose to work with incidents in ServiceNow and report them in Splunk as events. Also, have in mind that in this section you'll be provided with a list of all the available variables and tables in ServiceNow and Splunk. Including any additional custom tables or fields. Once our main configuration is ready, we could proceed with the action levels. For each integration, we can have as many actions and operations as we need, depending on our use case. In this case, we would need only one, which will serve the purpose of creating an event in Splunk after we have raised an incident on the ServiceNow side. So, I would like to start first with the trigger type. The trigger type of our action in this case will be polling. This way, ZGOS will be sending query requests to the source system in a time frame of our choice. The platform also has the option to listen for any incoming requests. The recommended time interval for this purpose is one minute. It's easily configurable and under the control of the user. Afterwards, we'll be reviewing the trigger condition. Uh, this is the defining logic of the query that ZGOPS is going to run. In this section, we are also being presented with all the trigger conditions that the system would need to extract the newly created incidents in ServiceNow and transfer them to Splunk as events. In this case, our default trigger condition looks for records that have been created after our latest record collection. 
If you would like, you could also add additional con conditions to filter the system for the use case more precisely. You just need to cl simply click on end here. And you can use all the available properties in both systems to include in your condition. Next up for us is to review the mapping capabilities of ZigiOps. We'll just need to simply visit the field map section right here. The mapping section defines how, this, how the data will be collected from the trigger action and how it's going to be delivered to the destination system. This happens in form of a mapping table with access to the fields of both systems. So on the left side, we have our destination fields and on the right side, we have our, our value definitions, which could be objects from the destination system, hard-coded strings or a combination of both. So now I will proceed with our actual demo between ServiceNow and Splunk. For the purpose of our demo today, I have already created an incident in ServiceNow, which has been transferred and transformed by Ziggy as an event in Splunk. We can see all the details from our incident in ServiceNow being also implemented by the Ziggy Ops platform on the Splunk side as well. So this was the demo that I prepared for our demo session today. Feel free to subscribe to our official YouTube channel for any new integration content and videos or visit our website to book an official demo with, with our team. You'll be able to find additional details and information about ZigiOps in the description section below. Best wishes from our team and me. Stay safe.